Hey everyone, this is Kevin Shriver from Your Pet Business Now. Hope you all are doing very well. Thank you as always for watching. I want to put together a quick video for you today talking about how do you manage your snow days. If for some of you that live in the Northeast, uh, the northern parts of the United States, or in a country or location that has four seasons, or at least the distinct season of winter, you understand that the snow days concept is uh, pretty uh, pretty valuable to understand, um, and you have to deal with it on a regular basis. Even for the people that live in the warmer climates, you will have the snow days, right, whenever there is, you know, either a hurricane or some tropical disaster or ice lands for half of a morning and the whole city shuts down. I don't know if any of you live in parts of the country like that, but I have a friend in Dallas and they had a small coating of small coating of ice, he said, and everything shut down for about three days uh, because they didn't have the equipment, they didn't have the ability to uh, take care of the roads, and so all the schools shut down and everybody just stayed home. So it happens. Doesn't mean you have to be in the north <laughs> to experience the weather if you're in any type of climate that. Um, I'm really just talking about any type of climate that basically where you are uh, having to manage the weather on a regular basis. So here's the deal. What I'm asking you to do is to have, think of and have a set of policies or procedures in place for how you would manage snow days and let your clients know about that in advance. One of the worst things you can do is to have no plan and then deal with the emergency um, the day of as clients are leaving you know, to go to work. Um, so basically, you just need to think in advance, you need to be proactive. Think about your abilities, your skills and your abilities in driving in, in climate weather. And what you'll want to do is to be able to set those boundaries and those, those policies and procedures in advance. It helps you and it helps the clients. Here's an example. I work and we run our business in an urban setting. Uh, a large, uh, we're in a large urban city and all of our clients are from the this, this downtown center point, all of our clients are within maybe two to three miles of that center point. That's the way we've set up the business. That's what we've designed it to be. So during snow days, or when days that are very snowy, um, it's actually very easy for us to get around in that we don't have to travel too far at all to see any of our clients. What that means is then we're able to deliver and pretty much execute. I tell this to clients all the time, we're able to see your dog no matter what. Because as you know, for you know the people that have kids where they have snow days and they stay at home, parents or an adult may be there to take care of the animal if you're traveling in to see. Obviously, we're talking about if you're traveling in to see someone's dog. However, if you uh, have to travel, um, if, if you know most of the professionals you work with do have to go somewhere for work, so therefore they're leaving and they have to go into work. Some people don't have the option of commuting. Those in the medical field, those that are in the construction industry, uh, any, any you know anybody that has to go to their job and go to a specific location to perform it, they have to travel. So they are going to be going in again. Medical professionals. Perfect example, they have to go into the hospital no matter what. So they will be going in, their dog or cat or whoever is still going to be need to be taken care of. This is also true even if they go away on vacation, you still have to show up and see their dog because that's a perfect example of you cannot let inclement weather mess up your day. So here's the deal. We're able to execute and we say that in advance. So clients know that even when it's a snow day, snow day, and weather looks like it's getting bad, they can go and do, they can do their own thing. I mean, they can go off, run their life, and we will be there to see the clients or to see the dogs. We also tell people that they may need to understand that we may have to flex the times a little bit because if it takes a couple hours, you know, two or three hours in the city where we live, where plows to get out and kind of get around. So sometimes there might be a delay, but we will get there to see your client. Most people have no problems with that at all, obviously, because we are um, seeing their client no matter what. The other thing that we tell people, too, is if you decide to stay home, this is on snow days, 
if the clients decide to stay home and you end up being there with your dog, we ask that they message us or use the online system that we use to cancel or adjust the walk just because if it's a super snowy day, I, I would like my team to not necessarily have to go across town, right? That, that would be awesome if they could stay home instead of driving across to see a, a dog just because one person's home and they don't want to put their galoshes on. Clients understand that as well. And they will message us early in the morning and say, hey, just a heads up, I'm staying home. I'll take care of Fido today and uh, you can take the day off. Our team is okay with that. We are okay with taking those, those, those snow days off too because we like to have a day off. So what I'm saying is you just set in advance with your clients on what you want to do. The thing you don't want to do, as I mentioned in the beginning, is you don't want to have no plan and then be struggling to get across town when it's snowy, when the clients expected you to be there, or you said you were going to be there. And then as you start driving and getting into your day, you realize that it's a little bit more dangerous than you expected, or you have to travel too much and roads are closed and all this and all that. Calling the client that you know the dog's gonna be okay, but calling the client saying, Hey, I'm not gonna be there or I'm not gonna get there um, is, is just something you want to avoid. Just be clear. And up clear and upfront in advance. Let your clients know exactly what you are able to execute on. That's the other thing. Let them know what you're able to execute on when snow days happen or what your policies and procedures are. I would challenge most of you to attempt to execute on all of your all of your dog clients, um, rain, snow, sleet, or shine, just for the fact that you can actually get uh, you can keep your business up because if you allow yourself and allow your business to be dictated fully on the weather, like if you say, oh, it's raining really hard or, oh, it's snowing exceptionally today, there's a couple inches of snow on the ground mm -hmm. and you can go and work the client, but you choose not to, you're going to lose a lot of revenue in you know, December, January, February. And I don't necessarily want, I don't want that for you because you need to be making steady income on a regular basis. So it's okay to hustle a little bit during the inclement weather. But make sure you're safe, but also set expectations with your clients in advance. I'm curious, for those of you that are watching, do you have any policies or procedures during snow days? Uh, share it uh, in the comments down below. We'd love to hear your thoughts and what you guys are doing. And if you have any questions about your location and what's a good distance to travel or uh, a strategy that you're thinking about, leave that in the comments below, and I would be happy to answer that and uh, let the community help answer that as well. This is Kevin Schreiber from Your Pet Business Now. Thank you, as always, for watching, and make it a great rest of the day.